Hello and welcome to the next episode of vSphere Breakroom Chats. I'm Glenn Simon, Product Marketing Manager for vSphere. In this series, we bring VMware experts to talk about VMs, VMware's vSphere uh, and related technologies. So today's episode, we're talking about the release of Skyline Health Diagnostics 4.0. And our expert today is Rajneesh Bandari. Hello, Rajneesh, welcome. Hey, hi, Glenn, good to see you. So first of all, before we talk about this new release, I, I, I wanna get some clarity just for my own benefit. So we have, a, I guess, a number of offerings with the Skyline brand name. Could you please first sort of explain those different offerings we have? Uh, perfect question, Glenn. And uh, so, as you rightly said, that Skyline is a brand name uh, of VMware under which we basically position all our diagnostics and health check capabilities and products around it. So, we the, the two major uh, products today available are Skyline Health Diagnostics and Skyline Advisor. So, at, at the broader level, if you are all connected to internet and then you are ready to share. The, your in, uh, in, in infrastructure insights and everything with VMware for the betterment of the product, this kind of advisor is the way to go and it provides your health check capabilities and then the log, uh, uh, like pulling the logs from your, from your infrastructure for the accessibility of the support teams and all. But if you are uh, looking for a solution which are more uh, inside your firewall, you don't want to kind of get to the internet, SHD is the way to go, which provides you the same health checks and capabilities what advisor does today in the offline mode and as well as because it's offline and it's on your on premises you will be able to do even the log diagnostics you don't need to float around the logs you just collect the logs and get the analysis done and and it will basically tell you what to be done to fix your environment got it okay so that helps so i guess we've just released a new version of uh, of health diagnostics called uh, version 4.0, right? So, what are what would be the, sort of sort of the top highlights of this this new release? Yes, yeah, so uh, just to step back a bit, right? So, uh, Skyline Health Diagnostic product has been out in the market for about six to seven quarters, and then we have been incrementing in the number of capabilities and the number of signatures, like what we deliver on the regular basis. But uh, the great uh, deliverable on the SSD 4.0 is going to be intent-based workflow, where customers, uh, depending upon their role in the organization, can decide the intent, what they basically want to achieve with Scalene Health Diagnostics, and will be able to go through that workflow and either run it for once or save it for your future executions. So, so as an example, like if you are more of a VI administrator, you can save uh, that uh, profile and then say that, okay, you want to basically have vCenter-based uh, diagnostics to be done versus if you are from a VCF background, it can be basically be uh, controlled in another way. So intent-based workflow is the key capability. And apart from that, I think we have a vCenter integration as a th second party plugin, what we are releasing and uh, on top of that, I think the one key ask from the partners were full support of the SSD APIs. You will find an SSD 4.0, all those APIs getting uh, supported. And one of the key other capabilities you will be really uh, be uh, excited about is your checking your environment with respect to the upgradability. So if you have like vSphere environment or VCF environment, you want to check whether your environments are good to go from an upgrade standpoint, you have those upgrade pre-checkers, which will tell you whether your environment and your upgrades are going to go through fine or you need to fix something before that. Are there any uh, sort of use cases or scenarios just to kind of make, you know, give people a, a, a maybe a better idea of kind of where, um, you know, where this type of uh, capability will really, really make a difference to them? Uh, absolutely, Glenn. Uh, so I think if you talk at a high level, we have two key capabilities to offer uh, through SHD. One is if you are all uh, if your if your environment is already in trouble and you want to know what to do with it, how to fix it up, you need to go and uh, decide your diagnostics workflow, where you can either upload your logs or connect SHD to your environment, and SHD will collect the log on your behalf and diagnose it and give you the key pointers that, okay, what might have gone wrong and then how to fix it. So that's like more on the diagnostic piece where the things are not going well. But 
you don't want to always like analyze and diagnose your things when uh, things has gone wrong, right? You want to be proactive and you want to really uh, keep a tab upon your infrastructure health. And that is where another workflow comes in where you can do your health checks, your configuration checks, your hardware compatibility checks, VMSS checks. So those all are the checks. Either you can do it one time or schedule it and uh, things will be monitored at the given frequency and uh, you will get to know how the health of the system is. Okay, now as as you mentioned that this this is a uh, Skyline Health Diagnostics has been around for what a couple of years now. Yep. Um, and but what's amazing is as as powerful as it is to help customers kind of troubleshoot and 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 deal with uh, deal with problems and, and you know sort of the break fix side of uh, of their jobs. Uh, a lot of customers, I guess, don't use Skyline Health Diagnostics yet. Is that true? Um, yeah, so I guess or no, because I think for first is we have a pretty huge customer base from a VSPS standpoint. So today uh, we right. have about 15,000 customers and partners who are already using SHD. But if we look at from a broader context, only 10% of the VSPS customer uses it. So because we yeah. have a customer base, right? So yes, uh, it has been there uh, like in the market and people are using it, getting benefited by it. Uh, but um, I think we want to basically reach out to more and more customers and partners who are really looking for quick fix, fixing their environment rather than uh, like waiting in the GSQ to get things fixed for them. And uh, yeah. it, it's, it's pretty, I think, uh, uh, reasonable to do right, like to check your environment on the regular basis and fix it up rather than like bringing your workloads down. So uh, yeah, it, it's just, I mean, it's to improve, this improves the overall support experience, right, for customers. So we want, we want everyone to use this. Yep. So for, for the other, let's say 90% or whatever number of customers who maybe aren't using Skyline Health Diagnostics, how, how they, uh, you know, how, how might they activate it? I think, uh, yeah, good question, Glenn. Uh, so this product is completely free for all the vSphere and VCF customers. So if you have a valid uh, VMware account, so from the My VMware, you can go and download it as an OVA and then install it in your environment. And uh, within, I, I would say like 10 minutes, it gets uh, installed, configured, and then you are ready to go. Wow, oh, okay. That's pretty nice. Uh, in fact, uh, I think uh, we'll probably... Um... We'll probably just include that link in uh, the description for the uh, video. Um, and just just as a personal, you know, on a personal level, Rajneesh, what uh, what excites you the most about this particular release, version 4.0? I would say two things, uh, Glenn. Uh, one is, as I said, like intent-based workflow, which is just the beginning uh, where we are trying to develop SHD more uh, from a persona standpoint, we have like uh, different kind of users, different kind of uh, like use cases. So we want to really drive uh, SSD use cases through the lenses of who are the end users. So intent-based workflows I'm most excited about. And uh, then the, the full support of the API, which basically makes it easy to consume SSD where people basically can uh, uh, do automation around it and then uh, leverage it without having any manual intervention. Interesting. So uh, where where might be, people be able to learn a little more details about this latest release of Skyline Health Diagnostics? Uh, we just released a good blog uh, on SHD 4.0. So uh, yeah, customers and partners like, should be referring to that. And then we have support community where we will be like always on and then responding to all those questions. So yeah, okay. uh, I think the blog is a good way to get started with. Okay, and we'll include the link to the blog in the description as well, uh, video description. Well, uh, with that, we've come to the end of this episode. Thank you for joining us today, Rajneesh. Um, and if all of you like this episode, please join us next time for another episode of Breakroom Chats. This is your host, Glenn Simon, signing off for now. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.